Mock Zender Interferometer with Polarizing Beam Splitter Polarizing Beam Splitter Cube splits the polarized light into two beams which are orthogonal to each other. The horizontal light beam is transmitted and the vertical light beam is reflected. This is the Polarizing Beam Splitter Cube. This dot indicates that this side is for light beam input. This side is to output for reflecting vertical beam. And opposite side is to output for transmitting horizontal beam. I am setting the polarizing filter to horizontal at a transmitting side. And setting another polarizing filter to vertical at a reflecting side. The transmitting beam is horizontal and reflecting beam is vertical. So both beams are passing the polarizing filters. Nothing get blocked. Now I am setting polarizing filter to vertical at a transmitting side to see if it is blocked. Yes, it is blocked. And I am setting polarizing filter to horizontal at a reflecting side to see if it is blocked. Yes, it is blocked too. We can use any side to input. The vertical beam is reflected into right or left side based on the input side. And the horizontal beam is transmitted always at opposite side. Mock Zender Interferometer with Polarizing Beam Splitter This is the laser light source which generates a red color light beam at 650 nanometer wavelength. This is the aperture to reduce the light intensity. This is the first polarizing beam splitter, splitting the light into two beams. The transmitted upper beam is horizontally polarized and the reflected lower beam is vertically polarized. This side is to output for reflecting vertical beam and opposite side is to output for transmitting horizontal beam. Both beams are reaching to full silvered mirror at two corners to reflect into another polarizing beam splitter. Here the upper beam is transmitted at dot side and the lower beam is also reflected at the same dot side. So the both beams are combined and coming out at dot side. No light strikes at opposite side. When I set it up and turned on the laser light, the combined light beam reaches only at dot side. This is what we expected. The combined beam is not generating interference pattern. Let me set a magnification lens to see if it shows interference pattern. No, it is not showing interference pattern. Why it doesn't show interference? Classical mechanics says that two orthogonal beams cannot be interfered with each other. Quantum mechanics says that by setting the polarizing beam splitter, we are able to identify the path of photons of light beam. The upper beam is horizontal and the lower beam is vertical. So the wave interference is collapsed. Therefore, we cannot see interference pattern. We can see interference if we erase which path information. We can erase the path information by changing combined beam to same polarization. I am setting the polarization filter in front of the combined beam to make both beams same polarization. At first, I am trying with setting polarization filter vertically. Still, we cannot see interference pattern because the vertically aligned polarization filter blocks only the horizontal upper beam. Now I am setting the polarization filter to 45 degree. Yes, the interference pattern returns back. It allows both upper and lower beams and makes combined beam with same polarization of 45 degree. Classical mechanics says that since the combined beam doesn't have two orthogonal beams, it shows interference pattern. Quantum mechanics says that since the combined beam doesn't have separate identity of two beams, the wave behavior shows interference pattern. 